guys. Alright, today we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, and it's the 26th now, so this game is coming out in like three days, it's kind of a big deal. Um, first of all, I want to apologize for my late upload, I've been having some issues with uh, trying to get my other camera working, and I just haven't been able to convert the video correctly yet, I'm still working on my intro, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, better quality videos are still on the way, it's just, it might take a little bit longer than I had hoped. Um, so, Assassin's Creed 4. This may surprise some people to, that this is actually my most anticipated title of 2013. I am really excited for this one. Um, Assassin's Creed has always been one of those series that's just been interesting because it goes into history and all that kind of stuff. And obviously some of it's not accurate, but you still get to meet people that were in that sort of history and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Um, the first one was okay in the sense that it was introducing the, the it was introducing the series, and like so it brought some new stuff to the table. Um, but it wasn't, you know, like, a, oh my god, this is the most amazing game I've ever played. Assassin's Creed 2 is really the one that caught me. Like, I felt like the gameplay was much better. I liked the story. I liked Ezio better. Brotherhood was alright, but um, especially with uh, Revelations, man, they just really screwed up on that one. It just was not fun. I had to force myself to finish that one. I just could not take it. Like, I mean, there were certain things I liked about it, but I liked the hook blade. That was pretty cool. But, like, just... It wasn't that great. It just wasn't. Um, Assassin's Creed 3. That was also last year. That was by far the... I was obsessed with all the previews, all the gameplay updates, all that stuff. I just could not wait to get my hands on it. And I also... One of the biggest things for me that it looks like they changed again, unfortunately, was just the, the running motion. Like, when Connor starts running and gets that initial speed, it's just... It looked accurate instead of the normal, you know, like, weird Ezio Altair running that looks like just retarded, I don't even know, it didn't even look like running. Um, but just like everything down to that little bit, and I liked the what they did to the uh, assassin suit, I thought that they changed it and then gave it the English type feel, that was cool. So I was a bit hesitant when I heard uh, EC4 was coming out because a lot of my friends said like, oh, Assassin's Creed is just turning into one of those once every year games and they're not, like, nobody was really liking them. And when I saw that there was AC4 coming out and I heard it was called like Black Flag and it was about to be Black Flag and it was about to, gonna be about pirates, I was like, okay, this is just ridiculous. Like, seriously, you guys, come on. But, and the trailer, the first trailer for it wasn't really that great. Assassin's Creed has always been one of those games that, like, no matter how bad the game is, they've released the most insane, perfect game trailers I have ever seen. Especially Revelations. Best video game trailer I have ever seen. Period. It was just, oh my god, and then the game sucked. So the trailer wasn't that great, so I was like, wow, already starting off bad. But then I saw the gameplay. That's what got me hooked. And initially, the whole naval stuff, I'm going to be honest, I didn't really like it in AC3. That wasn't a big part for me. It was I just wanted to get off the boat and go run and assassinate people. But the boat gameplay that I've seen so far actually makes me want to do that. I want to be the pirate. And I like pirates. I like Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, I like reading those pirate books. Stuff, anything like that. I just... Pirates interest me, so the fact that I get to be one now with my own ship in the Caribbean, this giant open world, that was another big thing for me, is it's like, it's a real sandbox this time, like, I think it's sequence three when the story always fin finally gets online and everything, you can literally go anywhere in the world you want, there's no map cutoffs like there were in other AC games, I mean, obviously you won't be able to get to certain parts of the map because... You have to defeat this ship or something that your ship is nowhere near powerful enough to do yet. So there's that sense, but I still have the option. Like, I'm not going to go hit a wall. 
So that was really cool. And I just can't, like, all the gameplay stuff that I've seen, they kept the same combat system as AC AC3. And that was a big thing that uh, AC3 had for me was the combat system. Because it's a lot like Batman Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and now Arkham Origins, which is out now. Um, is the whole, like, you're in a fight sequence, and if somebody's going to attack you, you can simply hit the counter button. And then another button to push them, attack them, or shoot them, or whatever. And that's a really, really good combat system. It's simple, but it's good, and it works. So I was really glad to see that they kept that combat system in. Um, also, they've added in some new moves, obviously. Edward Kenway, which is the father of Haytham, and the grandfather of Connor, which is who you play in EC3, uh, they gave him some different fighting moves, which is good, because you don't want to see the same moves just pasted on into the next one. Um, also, the suit. The Assassin's suit. I like... Like, I mean... When I think of an Assassin's Creed game, I think of a dude in a white, like, cloak-type deal, with a hood. And this last one, AC3, did kind of challenge that a bit. They put the blue on it instead of red, and they put the English stuff on it, and then, obviously, with the DLC, you didn't even have that. Now, this one, the AC4, kind of kept it. Like, I mean, they still have the general, like, that's what it looks like, but it, they still changed it a bit, and... At the same time, like, I'm not super a big fan of it, but at the same time, like, I'm I'm glad they're innovating and doing something different. And it looks really good. And, uh, the whole... The, the, there's so much they added, I can't even begin, begin to tell you, like, the fact that you can hold up to, like, four pistols now. Uh, you can have two dual swords, which is, from what I've seen most of the gameplay, that's everybody's excuse me, favorite, uh, weapons of choice, uh, the, the hunting system is like Far Cry 3's, the whole game, they said they did take a lot of Far Cry 3 and, uh, used it as an example for that one, which isn't a bad thing, because Far Cry 3 is a great game, a lot of people love it, and it, it's just like with the new Man of Steel movie, they, like, borrowed some of the Dark Knight type deal with, uh, Christopher Nolan producing it, and that's not a bad thing, something works, use it. Just don't, like, copy and paste, you know? So, I just can't wait to get my hands on it. Like, the whole open world aspect. I think this is going to be the first open world game where I actually do everything I can. Like, in most games, like, it's kind of nice to have that option of the collections or the side missions and stuff like that. It's nice to have that option, but I really don't ever do those. I usually just get done with the campaign, and if I like the game that much, I'll do all that stuff after I beat it. But with this one, I think I'm actually going to do all those side missions as I go on to make the story missions last longer. Like, I, I want this game to last me a long time. I don't want it to be one of those games that I beat in two weeks and then uh, a week later decide to trade it in to get another one. I want to keep this one. So, yeah, dude, AC4, I am super psyched for it. I cannot wait to see uh, how the story is going to go. Um, we don't really know how Desmond's involved, but they've kind of teased that it is still going to involve him because they, Abstergo still has his DNA. So I'm interested to see where the story goes. I hope there's not too much of the modern-day Desmond-type stuff, even though Desmond's not technically there anymore. I don't know how much time we'll be spending in the actual story of that. I don't want to spend that much, because I didn't like the Desmond missions. I mean, in AC3 they were kind of fun, but I, I wanted to be... That was another big thing I hated about AC3. It took like, I think it was like six and a half hours before you got to be Connor, and then it was another hour and a half before you could actually put on the assassin suit. When I play an Assassin's Creed game, I want to be in my assassin suit with all my assassin weapons and freaking kill people. That's what I want to do. So, hopefully Black Flag is not stupid and they make it like so you do that crap quick otherwise they're gonna have a, uh, some pretty negative comments from me but yeah most anticipated game of 2013 may surprise you guys but it's Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag I'm going to wait I'm trying really hard to wait I'm gonna wait and get it for the Xbox One which I believe is 26 days away now 26 yeah 26 days away until the release of the new generation for Xbox, which is pretty exciting. Um, 
I don't know when I'll be making another video. Hopefully either later today or tomorrow. Don't hate me if I'm wrong. I'm still trying. I really want to get that camera working so I can have better quality videos and stuff like that. So until I see you guys next time, uh, peace. Thanks for listening. And if you have anything, like, let me know in the comment section below. What's your most anticipated title for this year? Or what are you most excited for about the new consoles? Peace, guys.